Good morning, boys and girls. What do you think this story could be about? What do you notice on the cover of the story? What are these things around the book? What do they look like? The name of this story is called The Color Monster. A story about emotions. Emotions are how we feel. Feelings of um, happiness, sadness. Do you know colors can express the way you feel? So what colors do you see in this book? I see blue. When you see the color blue, what does it make you feel like? Does it make you feel happy or sad? How can you look at the monster's face? What do you think blue means? Or green? What do you think green means if you're feeling green or red or even yellow? Let's find out. So this week we're learning about colors and how they change and we can find colors all around us. So let's see what this story is about. This is the color monster. Today he woke up feeling confused. What does it mean when someone is feeling confused? And he doesn't know why. Look at him. He has all kinds of colors around him. That's why he's confused, remember? Every color means a different kind of feeling. So he's feeling all kinds of ways. I wonder why he feels that way. Can you make any predictions why someone would be confused about how they feel? Right? It can be very confusing, especially that you guys are in at home when we were supposed to be in school and your graduations are coming up. So you can feel like this monster. I feel like that too. You know, I feel happy and I feel sad and um, surprised and shocked that the school year is almost over for all of us. Oh, look at this girl. How does this girl look? What color is that? It's like gray. Are you all mixed up again, color monster? Let's see what happens. Your emotions don't work well when they're all jumbled up. See? All these feelings to feel all at once can be very hard on somebody. Look at his face. Can you tell me how he's feeling? You should try to separate them and put each one in its own jar. If you'd like, I can help you. Let's try to make sense of how you feel. How many jars do you see, boys and girls? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does that mean they're eight kinds of emotions that we could feel? There are eight colors? Hmm, let's see. Oh, look at the colors are coming off the monster. So they're going to separate all these colors into different jars. Hmm. Can you make predictions of what these colors represent feeling-wise? So think of feelings. Happy, sad, angry, surprised, shy, afraid, scared. 
Let's find out. So eight different kinds of emotions. You can list the emotions with your mommies and daddies and see, or you can make predictions. So why, why don't you write down the colors that you see on this monster and write and tell mommy and daddy to ask you, what do you think these colors represent in regards to your feelings? Let's see. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. Oh, yellow means happiness. Did you make a prediction that yellow could mean happiness? If you did, you are right. Yellow. Look, Miss P's blanket is yellow. I like to wear the color yellow. It makes you feel good about yourself when you wear yellow. Sure. What could the next color be? So yellow means happiness. When you're happy, you laugh and jump and dance and play. You want to share your happiness with everyone. Mm. It's a wonderful feeling to be happy. Okay. Oh, what color is that? Is that a good feeling to feel? Look at his face. So you could probably guess what blue represents what feeling. This is sadness. It is lonely and blue like a rainy day. It washes over you like the sea. Sometimes people ask you, are you having a blue day? Yes, especially in the rain. You don't want to get out of bed. You want to stay in bed and it's doesn't it's not a good feeling. If you're feeling the blues, that means you're feeling sad. Oh, let's see. Let me see the fish. When you're sad, you hide and want to be alone. What does it mean to be alone? We've seen that word many times this year. It means to be by yourself. You don't want to do anything except maybe cry. <laughs> it's okay to cry, color monster. I'm going to feel blue. When I have to say goodbye to all of you, you guys are going to a new school and in September. And me and Miss Me, Miss Angie, Miss Rachanel, Miss Jeanette, and Miss Jocelyn won't be your teachers anymore. But you can always keep in touch with us. Beauty of technology to keep in touch with your teachers. What's the next color? Oh, red. What does it mean, red? Miss P likes the color red, but when you think about feelings, red is not such a good color. This is anger. It burns red like a fire and it's hard to stamp out. Yes. When you're angry, life can feel unfair. I'm sure many of you guys feel angry. Why can't I go to school? I miss my friends. You can feel angry. It's okay. It's an emotion everybody feels. I'm sure your mommies and daddies have felt angry sometimes. You know, it's normal to feel angry.
What could the next color be? Sometimes you want to take out your anger on others. But I'll be nice to you, color monster, and your anger will disappear. So all these emotions the color monster is feeling, he's going to bottle them into those jars. What's the next color? Ooh, what do you think black means? How does that monster feel? Look at his eyes. They're big. That means they're bulging out. It looks like he's in a dark forest. How would you feel if you were in a dark forest? When it looks scary, this is fear. It hides and runs away like a mouse in the night. Fear is something you are scared of. Fear. Miss P is afraid of sharks and snakes, so that is my fear. And spiders. Oof. What makes you scared? What gives you fear? Is it a dark room? Or do you fear that there are monsters hiding under your bed? When you're afraid, you feel tiny. You think you don't have the courage to face the gray shadows. But I can help you find your way. Courage. That's a big word. That means you do you have the strength to fight your your fears. Some of us can overcome our fears, but some of us, it will take time. Miss P used to be afraid of heights. That means I did not like being up in the air, like especially in a, on a roller coaster. You're on the tippity top, 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 and then you fall down and you're scared and you're screaming. So I was scared of heights. Yeah, ghosts can be scary. What do you think green feels? If someone is feeling green inside. This is calm. What do you think that word means calm? To feel calm. Calm is peaceful, serene. It is quiet like the trees, as light as, a, as green leaves swaying in the wind. Like relaxing. You know, when you wake up, uh, you wake up from a nap, you feel so much refreshed and relaxed. You could feel green. Would you want to feel green? When you're calm, you breathe slowly and deeply and you feel at peace. So when we do our exercises, we want to feel calm, right? We want to calm our bodies down. And if you're upset, you can take breath, deep breaths. You could breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So if you're upset, you can use that technique to calm down, to be feel at peace. Some people listen to music or they read a quiet book to find peace. It's a relaxing, quiet time. Almost like in the cozy corner. Now you can rest, color monster. All your feelings are in the right place. See, don't you feel much better? Look at all those different bottles. So how many colors do you see? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. 
We counted eight bottles earlier. Let's see. Are there more bottles on the next page? Uh-oh, I see you're feeling something new. Ooh, what is that color? Does it look like a pink? You look different, color monster. Tell me, how do you feel now? Look, the little girl is confused. Hmm. What is this feeling? It's like a pink, a dark pink. What do you think? What color could that be? Hmm. That's the end of the story. What do you think that pink one could be? We have to make a prediction because they didn't tell us at the end of the story what that color was. Hmm. So make a prediction. What do you think pink means? And you could tell your mommies and daddies what you think the color pink represents because they didn't mention it. 